Hello, everyone. I'm Shu Takumi, the director of the Ace Attorney and the Great Ace Attorney series. I'm here today to make a very important announcement. So let's get things started with this. Have a look. Okay. Six why, why years. Why should be more like a tech that? I mean, being an Ace Attorney it, 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 runs in the family, it seems. Yes! Yes! I will become a lawyer. The I ancestral the ancestral. Ace Attorney. Well, I'm very sorry to disagree, Mr. Fairplay. Now, time to take down my prey. Judicial assistant to the defense. Uh, all right, judicial assistant. Uh, okay, and certified lawyer <laughs> and best friend. Best friend is now a job? <laughs> yes. Apparently. Oh my god, a doctor at the age of eight. The Empire of Japan and British Empire at the turn of the 20th century. A series of singularly perplexing mysteries descends over the two nations. The case of the visiting professor. Wait, Professor Layton's in the game? Oh my god. The case of a stricken <laughs> steamship. Airlock Shrubbles is basically discount Professor Layton. Investigation. Build your case. The second white photograph has been added oh to the no, court record. Cat. This is definitely blood, isn't it? Uh, that's the guy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Deduce the fact Side the fact Jones. is the enormous pair of shears in your hand. Yes! You are on the verge of uh, saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is legit gonna be our new big speech bubble. I also dig the music. Objection! Objection! You need to use a forbidding habit of obscuring something because apparently I'm racist. Yep, that's a thing <laughs> no, in this it's game. A... It is the 20th century. Great. Racism. Objection! Well, to, be, well, it's the 19th, well, to be fair, it's the 19th century. Like, most people were racist at the time anyway. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Objection! Bonuses and extra features. These two statements are completely contradictory. What is the meaning of this unruly outburst? So basically, it combines all of the 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 cases from the first from the two games and just one the campaign. Yep, with a huh. whole ton so of bonus it's like features. The well, the, the, well the, 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 the original 3DS games were just uh, two games to be played together, so it makes sense to do this anyway. Yeah. Oh, Auto events in story mode. Auto events story mode. Mm, you don't even have to play the game, you can just watch it. <laughs> like, why? It's now a movie. Take that! It's quite possible it's... that the witnesses have been oh, completely so unaware the, the, the... of it. No, no wait, here, here's the thing, Tio. They're finally following Sony's footsteps and making interactive games. To be, fair, to, be, to, to be fair, all, all visual novel games do that. They have an yeah. auto mode that allows you to just sit that, sit back and watch. So yeah, anyways. coming to PS4. Well, most people play these games for it. Hey, hold it! Oh, from the vaults DLC. Oh. It's just a bunch of pictures and uh, music. Isn't it? Oh, instrumentals as well. So yeah, they're going pretty much all out with this re-release slash uh, collection pack. The 2015 release, The Great Ace Attorney Adventures, and the 2017 release, The Great Ace Attorney 2 Resolve, aka two games that should have been delivered together but Capcom refused because they wanted to have two separate games to sell, have been brought together at last in The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. It will be released on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Steam. It features a completely new story that brings the mysteries of the Ace Attorney series to the 19th century. Yes, completely new if you don't live in Japan. Showcasing some of the series' best art and character designs, it is the pride and joy of the entire development team. Oh. It's also one of my personal favorites. Also one of your favorites. Get your point of view <laughs> ready for ten mystery-packed episodes. Oh, also, you have to remember, you have to remember, Jova, that Jap Japan eats re-releases like candies, so this is Experience nothing new for them. The I'll give it yeah, this, though. What, what, what do you think happened? No, does it all the time. Like, they, they've been getting those ever since the NES era. We we have been always the privileged ones. We usually get the complete this versions. The and honestly, that's English no Japanese exception WhatsApp. here because. If there's one complaint I did hear, it's Rebel that Greatest Attorney 1 and Greatest Attorney 2 feel like two halves of the same game, in the sense where they should have just been packaged together. 
But Capcom being Capcom pretty much forced you to Kumi to slip I mean, and I mean, go. Okay, I, yeah, well, it, it, I guess it's the Golden Sun f situation where there was supposed to be one game and then split into two. I don't have the context of it, but I wouldn't mind if it was intended as an episodic nature. Yeah. It, it, it kind of was, yeah. Granted, episodic games have died. Oh, now. look at this. A collection of collections. Why not? I mean, they did a, it's similar initiative, similar to what they did with the Mega Man stuff. And the Kingdom Hearts uh, collections where they come now, and 2.5 and together now. Now, Capcom, how about a physical release? Hold it! Pre-order or purchase the game just after launch to obtain the... Also, that's... What is this physical release concept that you speak of? Oh, in America. Please see the official website. <laughs> also, I love Naruhodo. Switch Hodo's. version only. Oh wait, really? That's confirmed. Coming in the near future. Yeah. So Pedro or Tio, do as if you want so want to get a version, a physical version. No, at, 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 actually, I own a Switch. Thank you. So I can. No, just... no, 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 I said, if you want me to send it to you, let me know. Wait, well, I've got um, I've got both uh, PS4. Anyway, available in English at last. Players from around the world will finally be able to enjoy this game as well and help it sell better. As a creator, I can't really wait to hear about everyone's experience. And with that, I hope you look forward to the release of the Greatest Attorney Chronicles. You Hi. bet I am, Shoot Takumi. You bet to... I am. I can't wait to see. Considering how the the games unfortunately didn't sell that well in Japan, I'm I'm willing to see when this game sells a lot better over here. I'm willing to see what excuse Capcom is gonna pull out of their asses to try to downplay it. Okay. No, no, here, no, here's what they're gonna say. <clears throat> oh, now we will want a Satoni games. First, you first we get, kept giving you and you barely cared, and now you want them. Good job. You, you spoke of your wallet. Now we're going to milk it to the ground until you're sick of it again. <laughs> Uh, anyway, anyway no, so uh, I actually remember uh, didn't the, the recent leak posted uh, an actual chart in how much uh, the HD quote unquote trilogy sold across the system, which would explain why this this collection is not getting an Xbox One release. Yeah, yeah, so... because it sold like garbage. five thousand unit. Yeah, oh boy, and that's rounding up. It basically, was a sales flop on the Xbox console. So again, I I do wonder how much it will actually sell. I don't mind. I don't doubt that you know people who are fans of the series will you know inevitably get it. But I wonder how much newcomers will it will attract. I do wonder. Well, 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 the well, the the well the, the, this co this collection is more made for people who for the fans rather than newcomers because the DS Attorney trilogy now that was of course a great entry for newcomers. Not that this is not a good entry for newcomers necessarily because you know it's not like it it's a prequel so of course there's no baggage. But at the same time, the 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 most profitable demographic for this collection is definitely going to be people like me and Joe, but not so much newcomers, I will argue. So yeah, it's confirmed. There's gonna be a physical release of this game of all things, available in the West. Like, okay, consider hmm. this right now. That okay, Ace Attorney has not had a physical release in ages overseas here, so. For the first game in a while to be, you know, Great East Attorney of all things that's getting a physical edition over here is nothing short of mind-blowing, and I hope that they um, continue this. Um, I mean, it looks pretty good. I mean, especially considering we're dealing with two upscaled 3DS games on, um, on, on, the, on Switch and PS4 and Steam. The, the, the games do look pretty good. The, the actual... Um, so the actual content in them also looks very uh, entertaining. I remember it was, it's the same thing with uh, Layton's Mystery Journey on the Switch. They were able to put the models uncomp completely uncompressed compared to the 3DS, so that's why they look like, so good. Yeah, um, yeah, I can I can see that. Um, so uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, for what I've seen so far, there's not really much I can say right now. So we get a bit closer, and then when the game comes out. <laughs> Me personally, I'm debating whether to get it just for either Switch or PS4 or both. Because, mm -hmm. because um, I mean, because I mean, for years, okay, I know it's been on iOS as well, but in terms of being exclusive to certain consoles, 
It'll be interesting um, having a Ace uh, having an Ace Attorney game, a newer release one, not be a Nintendo exclusive. From what I've heard okay. from Tio's experience, Ace Attorney on PS4 has been handled relatively well. Well, yeah. okay. Well, well, it's, well, it's just the HD trilogy. Yeah. Just put on consoles. I mean, it's not that much of a big deal. PS4 was if I, okay. No, I, I forgot which was the second. Oh, yeah, that's, that's my final thought. The the HD collection did sold better, obviously, on the Switch. But I forgot if it was PS4 or PC it was the second best. But yes, regardless, to answer, the second best. to answer your question, Pedro, the physical edition for the the main the main uh, this, this, uh, get this attorney collection chronicles sorry um it will be physical for both ps4 and switch in japan and asia and for switch in north america for the turnabout collection which includes even the the ace attorney trilogy it says that the physical edition will be in japan and asia in switch for the rest of asia while only digital for the rest of the world since there's not that much uh, hacking potential for a game like this, I'll just get it. Uh, I'll just import it from the US uh, physically. I really don't care, so I'll just get when it's on a sale. Probably like the the normal trilogy. Anyway, uh, yeah, it like I didn't uh, got informed that much uh, for the original releases, uh, so I don't know much about what is going on in this game aside from the basic premise. Uh, um, so it would be nice to see how it's about. Um, otherwise, it seems standard stuff. Um, I'll still probably get it personally when it's on a sale. So it probably the first major experience will be for the inevitable commentary, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I just am still in terms of priority. I don't mean that you have to do it immediately, Jova. But um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll see how it is. And what I'm more surprised about is, considering this kind of initiative, uh, the Capcom didn't decide to you know kill two birds with one stone and announce a Western release of the mobile versions as well, since they are present. Uh, I don't know. I think it would have been logical to apply that uh, the Western translation to those and you know sell sell it as well as these ones. I guess it's because the mobile ones may not have all the extra features that this collection will get, so it's like people... I suppose. Uh, mm. Whatever. It's still fine enough. Next. Uh, I'm pretty convinced that uh, this uh, the Chronicles will still come to mobile at some point, since 5 and 6 are there. So. Oh yeah, I'm sure it will too. It's just that it'll probably come afterwards, because I doubt they'll come with all the extra special features that uh, the... Uh, no. It depends. I mean, I can see them, like, I mean, phones nowadays can uh, withstand big downloads. I think it's perfectly possible if they want to include everything. I only say that going off of the fact that, from what I understand, the mobile version of 6 didn't have all the extra features that the 3DS version had. And by that, I mean, like, all the extra content, like uh, the uh, oh, sorry. the mini-episodes. Oh, the mini episodes. I'm not oh. sure about the DLC case, but that may be up in the air as well. What we also know is the fact that uh, while you know the entire script is actually localized, the the actual you know images and labels will still maintain you know Japanese ideograms, but a pop up will appear to explain what it is if you actually you know uh, highlight that. Which so, makes but me, that's it. which makes me wonder. Apparently, this thing will also include all promotional videos and everything so i wonder are they gonna sub them in english or are they actually gonna provide english voice acting like that includes the crossover between phoenix and naruhodo oh speaking of which probably both i it, guess remember uh, uh, phoenix has been or sam regal has already voiced again phoenix recently for his inclusion in type pen so there is that it may it does make me actually wonder though in yeah, that Donatello. yeah that does make me wonder though like well Consider this, like, we literally will have everything translated in that regard from this. Like, it's amazing how much they're going out in that regard. Also, the fact that we actually hear them say the Japanese name does pretty much support the theory that they're just going to go with it being that Phoenix was descended from Japanese immigrants. And yeah, that, that's, the name also, eventually that's became also... right. That's also the interesting thing, the fact that they didn't change the name for the protagonist, well, reinforcing makes... what you just said. Well, it makes sense because tale. in Great Ace Attorney, the protagonist is, you know, an import from Japan, so... 
Not just that, Teo. Unlike with the original trilogy, there's no possible way the localizers can try to pretend that this is America. <laughs> it's literally impossible. Just look at it. It's pretty much impossible to pretend that this is America. So they have to... Okay, we'll do it like this. In the English dub continuity, Phoenix is an American who descends from a Japanese dude. Which, to be fair, there's plenty of those out there. So why not, right? Yeah, the... um... I wouldn't be surprised if for the ending of uh, Ace Attor Great Ace Attorney 2, they'll probably add in some tidbit about how, oh, his last name eventually became Wright or something. Right. Oh, this this is not this is not a rice cake. It's actually a donut, don't you know? Eat your hamburgers. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, well, a lot of people were... Your hamburgers, Apollo. It's pretty, like I said, it's pretty much fine. I'm not getting a mm -hmm. lunch. Um, look, the price seems to be fine enough, you know. Uh, but he's still uh, probably not going to get it at launch when it's on sale. Not sure if it's going to be PC or hmm. PS4, but one of the two. Much like with the original, uh, you know, trilogy. The, the hmm. main problem is mostly also the fact that my backlog, you know, is still pretty high. So, uh, and sadly, these, these not, do not include a high priority. Can you hear me? Next. It is interesting that they are addressing all that, including the fact that it takes place in more racist times. That was one of the things that had people scared that we would never get this localized. But no, they're addressing it and everything. Completely. Well, it's, over. it's like you said in our, um, it's like you said in our Beauty and the Beast remake commentary. Uh, when it comes to the um, to the way African characters were handling that movie, include like to quote your words, inclusion is good, but it has to be inclusion that makes sense. Yep, <clears throat> and kudos on Capcom for that. So, Pedro, your thoughts? My thoughts. Uh, yeah, finally, you show it to us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I, I, I've mentioned this before, but I'm not a big fan of only showing the game two months before its release. I still think we could do. But uh, I like a, not to mention, okay, maybe it's just me because I like planning my purchases down the road. Maybe it's just maybe it's just a me problem. But I personally think like much like near replicant remaster was announced over a year before its release. I think we could have done something in, like, at least five months before release for this. A lot of games, so come... so, yeah. Just so we could, uh, you know, hype this a bit more and shit like that. But whatever. It's, uh, the point is, um, yeah, definitely looking forward to doing game this. Uh, I'm definitely going to be, like I said, there's not that much value in hacking the save files from, from for a game for a game like this. So I don't. Not, so I'm gonna get this on the Switch. I'm gonna. I have an Amazon account, so I can easily import it from America. Oh, yeah, oh. that's right. Like, so, yeah, I mean, the best thing about this is that you can still get a physical and play it in English. You just have to import it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't worry. Uh, I, my, um, I have plenty of imported games. I know how to do that. Um, uh, where was I? Uh, yeah, uh, looking forward to it. Morris Attorney is always great in my book, so by all means. Uh, see, jo see, uh, see, Job is not the only big fantasy series here. I'm actually, I'm, even though I'm not as vocal, I love his attorney too. So, mm -hmm. um, so I'm glad that we're finally getting this. Uh, I'm also still holding out hope for a 4, 5, and 6 collection, not so much 4 because fuck 4. Uh, the sloppy but, uh, seconds collection. I still love 5 and 6, but whatever. I know, I, I know the fan base has kind of turned against them at this point, but I don't care. Um, it's so yeah, I'm looking forward to the other the other collection as well. I'm just gonna skip four and pretend that I'm just gonna pretend to myself that I'm just paying for two games and that one is just a shitty bonus. Um, <laughs> So, um, yeah, uh, so yeah, definitely looking forward to importing this and trying to get it as soon as possible because it's great. It's come around around the same time as Neo the Warlands Refuel, so it should be tough, but I'll still uh, see if I can get it. Uh, I mean, since it's imported, it's probably going to take a while, so I'll have some time to play Warlands Refuel first before I play this. So that would be nice. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. It, I'm definitely looking forward to getting it. And good job, Capcom. Now, if you would please, um, uh, now if you would please get around to making Mega Man X9, that would be cool. <laughs> Dead. You next. Okay, so uh, this is a collection I've been hoping that got for a while, and I'm so happy. It was the best thing to wake up to. Yep. Like yes, mm -hmm. finally. And not only right, that, like, they're including we, we've everything. Known about it for, yeah, we've known about it for like a little while thanks to that infamous Capcom leak. Yeah. That's since I was like, thank God it's happening. 
But this also means you need to put your money where your mouth is. Oh, you instead can Instead of bet. just... Instead of just, I, I didn't support the thing, so I'm going to get angry at company for not giving me more things that I pretend to care about. <clears throat> but, but yeah, let's see where things go, and hopefully Ace of 37 will be announced with another year or two. Mm-hmm. I guess that just leaves me then. Yeah, I'll just say this. I'm ama- I'm amazed at how much there is in this game. Like, I mean, not only that, but they're really bringing over everything that we missed. All the promotional videos and everything. I assume translated or dubbed properly. I wonder who they got to play Naruhodo, Phoenix's ancestor, though, because he sounds... What they said there. I mean, it says, says it the yeah, credit. Right. It's in the trailer. <laughs> It's I mostly actually, it's see. they're mostly British actor, but for the Japanese for the actual people from Japan, they seem to actually employ Japanese actor that know Japanese actors that know English, which is pretty cool actually. Yeah, yeah. The now who is but... voiced by Mark Ota? Yeah. That's actually really cool. Right. That they, that's actually really cool that they did that because Ghost of Tsushima did the same thing, uh, and and I, and I really wish some of these games taking place in Japan would do this more often. It really does address a lot of fears. Neo was also another good example of that. I like how it addresses a lot of fears people did have about this potentially being a localization because if there's one thing people who were against the idea of Capcom localizing this game feared, it was them potentially trying to Americanize the Japanese section of the game. And it's like, nah, they they wouldn't have. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, the way they're going about this localization looks very, very well done. It's nice to hear from Shutakumi again, and again, like, the fact that they're including everything from the DLC to the main episodes, and technically this is our first ever exposure to the game, so maybe they consider this their penance for making us wait over six years for getting this game? So probably some sometimes it happens, Jova. Similar to say Legend of Mana, which was never available for Europeans, but uh, with its upcoming remake, remake, remaster, call it whatever you want, uh, it technically will be. I'll know? say this though: that is surprisingly charitable of Capcom, but I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouse. I probably will get this on both Steam and Switch. Switch for on the go stuff and Steam to potentially make it easier for recording and inevitable commentary. I do hope that they provide a, a dual screen uh, form of gameplay though, because I prefer doing Ace Attorney dual screen wise. Same, same. I really hope they do something uh, akin to the latent remasters and just keep the original format because that, that just works better. But yeah, overall, this re release looks good and. Well, yeah, when I'm hyped for a re-release, you know it has to be doing something good. Like, this has been something we've been waiting for for so long. And it Mm -hmm. looks like they're going to deliver and then some. So, well done, Capcom. Tune in next time, everybody, for, I guess, whatever trailer, whatever thing we're doing, I guess. We're like, see ya. Or the actual commentary of these, see ya.